हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल सो टूडेज टॉपिक इज समथिंग एवरी डॉक्टर एंड मेडिकल स्टूडेंट मस्ट नो चेस्ट एक्स रे इंटरप्रिटेशन वील स्टार्ट विथ हाउ टू रीड अ नॉर्मल चेस्ट एक्स रे स्टेप बाय स्टेप एंड देन मूव इन टू एब नॉर्मल फाइंडिंग्स यूजिंग द सेम सिस्टमैटिक अप्रोच बाय द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन यू विल बी कॉन्फिडेंट इन रिकॉग्नाइजिंग बोथ नॉर्मल एंड पैथोलॉजिकल साइंस सो लेट्स टाइव इन बिफोर इंटरप्रिटिंग एनी चेस्ट एक्स रे ऑलवेज टू दिस चेक्स Check for patient details, name, age, and date. Film orientation: PA or AP views, that is posterior anterior or anterior posterior views, and patient is in erect or supine position. Technical quality: Check for rotation. In this medial ends of clavicle, equidistant from the spinous process. In inspirational chest X-ray, you should see a six anterior or ten posterior ribs, and in exposure, spine just visible behind the heart. Once the basics are fine, we move to interpretation. So, chest X-ray interpretation should be done in A, B, C, D, E approach. A stands for airway and mediastinum. B stands for breathing. In this, lungs and pleura should be seen. C stands for circulation. In this, heart and vessel should be visualized. And D stands for diaphragm. And E stands for everything else that is bone, soft tissue, and devices. In airway and mediastinum, check trachea is in central. Check for carina at T4 and T5 level, and mediastinum should not be widened. In lungs and pleura, check the lungs are clear or not. There should be no opacities located in the lungs. Vascular markings should taper to periphery, and pleural spaces should be clear. Costophrenic and cardiophrenic angles should be sharp. In circulation, the heart sides should be normal. Cardiothoracic ratio should be less than 50% on posterior anterior view. The borders of heart should be well defined and aortic arc and pulmonary artery should be visible. Next, check for diaphragm. Next, check for diaphragm. The right dome of diaphragm should be slightly higher than left. The costophrenic angle should be sharp and there is no free air under diaphragm. Next, in bones, check if there is any fracture located in ribs, clavicle, scapula or spine. The soft tissue should be normal. In female HS X-ray, we can show the shadows of breast and sometimes the nipple also. So there should be no any subcutaneous emphysema also and no foreign devices. In patient with pacemaker, we can see the pacemakers in chest X-ray. So that's what a normal chest X-ray looks like when you go step by step. Now let's use the same ABCD system to spot the abnormalities. Abnormal airways and mediastinum. If trachea pulled towards the lung, there is any collapse or fibrosis of the lung should be seen. And if trachea is pushed away, there should be effusion or tension pneumothorax. In widened mediastinum, aortic aneurysm, dissection and trauma is the cause. Check for hilar enlargement. Hilar enlargement is usually seen in lymphadenopathy and pulmonary hypertension. In abnormal lungs and pleura, we can see a pleural effusion in which the blunting of costophrenic angle and meniscus sign should be seen and trachea is pushed. In collapsed lung, white opacities and volume loss is there, trachea pulled and ribs seen in crowding space. In pneumothorax, hyperlucent area, absent vascular markings and visible pleural line is visible. In consolidation, there is homogeneous white opacities and air bronchograms. In patient with pulmonary edema, we can see a bat wing appearance or curly B lines in the chest X-ray. And in patient with miliary tuberculosis, we can see a diffuse nodules in chest X-ray. Next, go towards the circulation. In patient with cardiomegaly, we can see a cardiothoracic ratio of more than 50%. In patient with left atrial enlargement, we can see a double right heart border and splying of carina. In patient with pulmonary edema, we can see a bat wing perihilar shadowing and pleural effusions. Next, diaphragm. If we see a bowel loops in chest, in chest x-ray, there must be hernia. And if we see a free air under diaphragm, there must be perforated hollow viscous. If the hemidiaphragm is raised, Suspect if there is an, any collapse, any phrenic nerve palsy or any subphrenic abscess. Lastly, see if there is any fracture in bones, any subcutaneous emphysema and any device malposition. 
In patient with endotracheal tube, if endotracheal tube is too deep in right main bronchus, there may be chances of left lung collapse. Let's summarize these all together. First, always check technical quality first, then use ABCDE approach, first on normal, then on abnormal. Describe findings objectively and then suggest likely causes. And last, always correlate with clinical content. If you stick to this method, you'll never be lost when you're interpreting a chest X-ray. So today we went from normal chest X-ray interpretation to identifying common abnormality using a structural approach. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button, subscribe for more medical content and share this with your colleagues.